Ministers, um, Under Secretary General, um, Madam Raba, Raba Fatima, President Ishtusok, Mr. Ray, distinguished delegates. First, first of all, I wish to extend my senior appreciation and thanks to, Mr. to the Chair for hosting this ministry meeting and for the able leadership with which you have successfully been steering this group. We are grateful to the Secretary General for his unwavering support for the cause of the LMDCs. I also commend Under Secretary General Rabab and an able team for their hard work and contribution to promoting the interests of the LMDCs. Um, Mr. Chair, the euphoria and the momentum created by the Vienna Program of Action could not be sustained to translate its vision and commitment into tangible actions to address the challenges facing the landlocked developing countries. LNBCs have been facing an uplift task to overcome the physical and developmental obstacles and attain the 2030 agenda and SDG targets. These countries are among those affected the most by multiple and cascading global crises and challenges, including the lingering impacts of the pandemic, ongoing geopolitical tensions, conflicts, and elevated climate calamities. To our utter dismay and consternation, LNDCs continue to face a host of impediments, including limited high quality, limited high quality infrastructure, high transit and trade costs, procrastinated transit procedures, economic disadvantages, including low productive capacity, lack of digital and physical connectivity, low flow of FDI, and dependency on transit countries. Countries like Nepal, which are both LLDCs and LDCs, are facing even more difficulties to this end. Mr. Chair, among, amidst these challenges, we do see a silver lining though. Building on the success of the Vienna Program of Action and the lessons learned, we are going to have a new program of action which is broad, comprehensive, ambitious, and action-oriented. It has been aptly, it has, it has aptly identified challenges to find uh, priorities and laid a path forward for LNBCs in the next decade. Its full, its, yet its full implementation is vital. Adequate financing still remains key to its success. We urge for significant support and assistance in developing trade-related infrastructures, enhancing multi-dimensional connectivity, improving transit procedures, and reducing trade costs. LNBCs need skilled up support in the form of ODA, uh, foreign direct investment and debt relief. We emphasize the easy access to finance from international development institutions. The aid for trade support for LNBCs should be enhanced. Support should be enhanced in increasing productivity capacity, especially for niche products and integrating them into regional and global value chains. Increased support for climate resilience and adaptation LNPCs should also be provided. Thank you, uh, Chair. I take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to the people at uh, Government of Botswana for the generous offer to host the LNPC conference in December this year. Thank you. <laughs>